Meet me in extended child's pose. Take your knees as wide as comfortable. Walk your arms out long in front of you. Rest your forehead down on your mat and feel your breath as it travels up and down your spine. I recommend you close your eyes, removing one of your senses to heighten the others so you can truly feel. And feel free to move slow, allowing your transitions to be just as important as the poses themselves. Practice that here by lifting up to thread your right arm underneath so you can lie down on your right shoulder. Hips soften back down towards your heels. Each exhale an opportunity to relax. Then replace your right hand and thread your left arm underneath. Notice if there's any connection between your calm, smooth breath and the opening sensation you feel in your upper back. Replace your left hand and rise up into a tabletop and curl your toes under, reach your hips high for downward facing dog. With your hands strong, gripping into the mat, work your body towards that triangle shape. And if it helps, just bend one knee and then the other, warming up your legs so you can get your hips high. On your next inhale, bend your knees. As you exhale, step your feet to touch near the top of your mat. For halfway lift, slide your hands up your shins, pull your heart forward, big inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Find chair pose. Sit back as if someone's scooting a chair in behind you. Press your knees together. Reach your arms overhead and sit a little bit deeper. Feel your legs fire up. Sit a little deeper. For three, two, one. Forward fold. For one more halfway lift to reset your spine. Inhale. Exhale to plant your hands and step your feet back in a high plank. For only a moment. Then lower your knees down into a tabletop, stand on your knees, keep your toes curled under behind you, reach your left hand back to grab onto your left heel and reach your right arm overhead. Big breath in. Exhale to switch, come back to stand, reach your right hand back, reach your left arm overhead, big breath in. Exhale back to your plank, both hands down, legs straighten out behind you, inhale. Exhale to downward facing dog. Didn't see that one coming, did ya? Little half camel mid flow to intensify the sensation of this flow. From your down dog, reach your right leg high. And since we're feeling today, just bend your right knee open. Sink your heel towards your glute, let it feel good. Then inhale, reach your right leg high. Exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Use your hand if you need to, to drag your ankle up so it's stacked underneath your right knee. Lower your back knee down to your mat and reach your arms overhead for crescent moon. Engage your inner thighs as if you were trying to scissor them together for a strong base in your crescent moon. 
Bring your hands together at heart center and inhale to press your heart towards your thumbs. Exhale, twist to your right and hook your left elbow outside of your right knee. Turn your chin over your right shoulder and do yourself a favor. Draw your lower belly in so you can twist just a little bit deeper. For three, breathe deep. Two, one, back to crescent moon, arms reach up, big breath in. As you breathe out, plant your hands down and straighten out your right leg as you shift your hips back for Hanumanasana prep. A big hamstring stretch. We'll flow in and out of these intense poses so that we can practice observing the sensation that comes and goes. Relax your face, relax your jaw. Then walk your hands forward into a low lunge. Lift your back knee up off the mat. But drive back through your back heel. Then from here, move into pyramid pose. Straighten out your right leg. With your hands planted on fingertips, spin your back heel down, but keep your hips squared off to the front of your mat. I highly encourage that you step your back foot in about a foot, a foot and a half. It'll make it a lot more accessible. Next is warrior one. Deeply bend your right knee as you rise up and reach your arms overhead. So your hips are still squared off to the top of your mat. Your back heel is still spun down for a lot of sensation through your back calf. Sink into your right knee, soften your shoulders, big breath in. As you breathe out, open up into warrior two and you might need to widen your stance as you open your hips towards the side of your mat. For reverse warrior, your hips and legs stay as they are. Just reach your right arm overhead and let your back hand graze your thigh. Big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to your mat. Come into a high plank, big breath in. Exhale, lower your knees down for half camel. Left hand down, right arm high, inhale. Exhale to transition. Right hand down, left arm high, big inhale. Exhale to transition, come back to your plank for one breath in. Down dog as you breathe out, then reach your left leg high, bend your knee, sink your heel, let it feel good. Next inhale, straighten out your left leg. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Come all the way through, ankle underneath your knee, then lower your back knee down, reach your arms overhead, find crescent moon. Keep a strong base here with your lower belly pulling in so you feel anchored to your mat. Bring your hands together at heart center and inhale, lengthen your spine, heart towards your thumbs as you exhale, twist to your left. Hook your elbow outside your knee, turn your chin over your left shoulder. Each exhale, work your heart closer to your thumbs and remember to keep your lower belly drawing in to lengthen out your lower back. Three, Two, one, reach your arms overhead, crescent moon, big breath in. As you breathe out, Hanumanasana prep, lower your hands down, shift your hips back over your back knee as you straighten out your left leg. Lots of sensation here. Keep your face and your breath calm. and walk your hands forward for your low lunge. Lift your back knee up, sink into your hips, but drive back into your back heel. For pyramid, straighten out your left leg. You step your right foot in a little bit so you can spin your back heel down, keep your hips squared off to the front. Try to get your forehead towards your shin or knee, or air. 
even as the sensation intensifies. Observe when your mind tries to run away and distract you and bring it back. The most important place your mind can be is within the four corners of your mat, in your body. Rise up for warrior one. With a big bend in your left knee, reach your arms overhead. Your back heel is spun down, but keep your hips squaring off to the top of your mat. Then slowly open up into warrior two. With your right arm reaching back, left arm reaching forward, your hips will open up to the side of your mat and feel free to widen your stance. Keep your left knee tracking open so you can feel an opening through your left inner thigh. Then keep your legs as they are and reach your left arm overhead. Drop your right hand down to graze your back thigh. Reverse warrior, big inhale. Exhale, cartwheel both hands down to your mat. Find your high plank, hold for one breath in, be strong. Then exhale to lower your knees down, transition to half camel, left arm down, right arm high, inhale. Exhale to transition, right arm down, left arm high, big breath in. Exhale, come back to your plank and hold for one inhale. Exhale, down dog. Big breath in through your nose. Out through your nose. And notice how this down dog feels different than any of the ones before. Let's flow that again. One breath, one movement, fewer cues, so you can work on making your transitions fluid, the whole sequence becoming a dance between the poses. So from here, exhale everything from your lungs. As you inhale, bend your knees. Exhale, step your feet to touch at the top of your mat for halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale to chair pose, sit deep, arms reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Come all the way down for one more halfway lift as you breathe in, flat back. Then exhale to plant your hands, step your feet back, binding your high plank and hold for one inhale. Exhale to transition to your half camel, left arm down, right arm high, big breath in, slow and fluid as you exhale, transition, right arm down, left arm high, inhale. Exhale, come back to your plank and hold for one breath in. Send it back to down dog as you breathe out. Then reach your right leg high, big inhale. As you exhale, step it through to a low lunge. Lower your back knee down, reach your arms overhead for crescent moon, breath in. And twist to your right as you breathe out. Inhale back to your crescent moon, arms reach up. Exhale, hands to your mat, shift your hips back, straightening out your right leg. Inhale, come forward into your low lunge, lift your back knee up. Exhale to your pyramid, spin your back heel down, straighten out your right leg. Then set up your warrior one, inhale to rise, squaring off to the top of your mat. Exhale, open up into warrior two, arms reaching front and back. Reverse warrior as you inhale, right arm reaches overhead. Then cartwheel your hands down to the mat as you exhale, setting up your high plank. Hold for one breath in. Transition to half camel as you breathe out, left arm down, right arm high. Inhale. Exhale to transition, left arm high. Inhale. Exhale to transition back to your plank, hold, inhale. Send it back to downward facing dog. For your left side, inhale, reach your left leg high. Step it through to a low lunge for crescent moon as you breathe in, reach your arms overhead. 
then twist to your left. Inhale back to crescent moon. Then hands to your mat, straighten out your left leg, Hanumanasana prep. As you inhale, come forward into your low lunge. Then exhale to set up pyramid pose. Bring your back heel down, straighten out your left leg for warrior one. As you breathe in, bend into your left knee. Open up into warrior two. Inhale to reverse warrior. Exhale, transition to your plank. Then from here, make your way back to downward facing dog. This next sequence will move about three breaths, one movement. Now step your right foot to the upper right corner of your mat for a runner's lunge. Feel free to lower your back knee down, then lower the weight of your head down as you sink into your hips. With your left hand planted, lift your back knee up and reach your right arm up to the ceiling for a dragonfly and feel free to lean back into this one. Use your breath to create even more space through your chest and shoulders. Next is extended side angle. Lower your right hand down, plant it inside of your right ankle, spin your back heel down, then reach your left arm high. Use the leverage of your right elbow against your right knee to keep it tracking open. One more big breath in. As you breathe out, plant your left hand down, step your back foot forward into a yogi squat. Heels in, toes out, hips low, hands together at heart center. Lift your heart up to meet your thumbs. Find the yogi in the yogi squat with a calm, relaxed face and a deep breath in through your nose and out through your nose. Release your hands down, reach your hips high for a wide leg forward fold. Let your head hang heavy and feel free to add a chest expansion. Three, two, one. Plant your hands down on your mat and step your right foot back into a runner's lunge on your left side. Find a similar variation that you took on the other side. Find a similar deep breath. And notice how this side might feel different from the other. For dragonfly, plant your right hand down, reach your left arm high. With your back knee lifted up off the mat, stretch through your back heel and feel free to lean back into your left shoulder. Then for extended side angle, plant your left arm down inside of your left ankle, then reach your right arm high as you spin your back heel down and work on opening up through your body, lean back. And it's okay if this side feels different than the other. It's actually pretty normal to have one side that's a little bit more flexible than the other. and lower your right hand down and make your way to your yogi squat. As long as you treat both sides the same, 
meaning don't coddle the less flexible side and then lean into the more flexible side. Find that middle ground and eventually your body will begin to catch up with itself. Next is a wide leg fold. Hands down to your mat, hips high, head heavy. This time try adding ragdoll arms. Then from here, make your way back to downward facing dog. And from this down dog, meet me in extended child's pose. Namaste.